The Battle of Mount Dingjun also ended in a Wei victory. However, Shu refused to yield and proceeded to attack Fawn Castle in Jing. Finally, Liu Bei's trusted Guan Yu came to Jing, leading the attack. At last, the God of War himself has come to face me. In order to aid Cao Ren at Fawn Castle, I have marched night and day. We must hurry. I shall take my twin halberds and protect my allies while defeating my enemies. Cao Ren shall serve as the commander for this battle at Fawn Castle. I can only hope that he can fulfill his duties for our lord who is far away in Shu Chang. The enemy commander is Guan Yu. He is likely to try and use the rain in his attack against us. Focus on holding your position and striking only when the time is right. Pang Dei, Fan Castle and the lands of Jing are imperative to our cause. We cannot afford to lose either one of them. You must defend them with your life. Keep Shu at bay. Huh. So now, Wu is begging for our help. So they fear Guan Yu that much. Guan Yu. This time, nobody can stop us. Not even you. We must hold out until the reinforcements get here. spotted upstream by the river. The river? Could they be planning a water attack? Damn it! I can't... Hold up! Father. The enemy cringes in fear before Pang Day. <laughs> the water attack has failed, has it? Do you think you can stop me? We mustn't let them steal all of the doors. Their strategy has failed. All units counterattack. The enemy cringes in fear before Pang Day. This battle is far from over. Hold your positions! Just because we're supply beast doesn't mean we can't fight. Listen, you do not require strategy? Hear 
here I am, everyone. Shu Huang has arrived. Crush them beneath us. You're alone? You must long for death. The enemy cringes in fear before Pang Day. I shall show no mercy. The enemy cringes in fear before Pang Day. Embarrassing to call for help from me. Incredible. A proper strategy will always be a good strength. My ambitions left unfulfilled. The enemy cringes in fear before Pang Day. Must not let up on the attack. Watch and see how Lu Meng approaches battle. Brother! Now, all units move to counterattack! Crush all those that oppose us! Charge! Keep up or be left behind! I don't think you'll get away with that. Oh, is this the end? The enemy cringes in fear before Pang Day. Defend yourself, or suffer death by my blade. Don't you think you could break through our forces? I shall deal with this insult well. 
You thought you could just get away with that? So you're Master Peg Day. Save your compliments for that red. before Pang Day. Though I have failed as a warrior, this is a glorious end. Farewell, and thank you. We defeated Guan Yu. I had no particular grudge against him, but it is the duty of a warrior to defeat his opponent, no matter how great a hero he may be. I owe it to all of you that I was able to answer the call at that instant. With this, we have managed to remove yet another obstacle in our Lord's path. I shall continue to serve loyally and fulfill my duties until an end is brought to this chaos. A new body, this body got... It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. 
its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Pang Dei, from the land of Nan An, a warrior who excelled at all levels of martial arts, he was quickly appointed as an official at his county office. He became well known for his prowess during the Yellow Turban Rebellion while serving Ma Teng. He accompanied Ma Chao following the death of Ma Teng. When Cao Cao moved to expand his territory after conquering the Central Plains, the two, along with their new allies in Guangzhou, went to stop him at Tong Gate. Cao Cao was impressed with the way Pang Dei fared against his powerful warriors. Having no place to go after the battle, Pang Dei surrendered to a welcoming Cao Cao. Because his friend Ma Chao joined Shu, many of the Wei officers distrusted Pang Dei. He had to earn their trust over time with his valor in battle. Following Cao Ren's orders, Pang Dei went to Fan Castle and engaged Guan Yu. He fought Guan Yu with everything he had, willing to give up his life if necessary. His valiant efforts eventually defeated Guan Yu and led way to victory. Not a single man doubted Pang Dei's loyalty any longer. He had become a distinguished warrior of Wei. He and his son, Pang Hui, fought and contributed to the greatness of Wei. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Jing is ours. The rest will soon follow. All that's left is Wu and Shu. Pang Dei, your strength is just what I need to carry out my plans. As you wish, my blade exists only to serve on the field of battle. I am led only by the tip of my trusted blade.